How's it going guys? I'm Worst SMT here and welcome back again to another video and today I got some exciting news for you guys because Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes which is the FNAF novel that we've been hyped about for about a week now has now officially been released on Amazon. Now that's that, that's that been known for a while. It's been about an hour. Some of you may have not known that so there you go. There's your information. It's available now on Amazon and I'll leave the link down below of where you can get it. But as you guys can see, there's a new teaser on his website that says Five Nights at Freddy's and Silver Eyes available now. And you can see it's the same image that it's been uh, for a while now. And if we check the source code, uh, it, it's, it says coming soon still, uh, which is funny since it's out. But uh, yeah, but uh, let's, let's go to the Amazon page as you guys can see. Uh, there's actually two ways you can get it. I'm going to link you guys both versions. There is the Amazon Kindle one. And for some reason, I can't see it here, but there's also the hardcover one. I would recommend getting the the Amazon uh, the Amazon Kindle one because that one's way cheaper. It's only $2.99. The hardcover one is about $16, so it might be a wiser choice to get the Kindle version. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm on the Amazon page for Five Minutes Freddy's The Silver Eyes. This is the Kindle edition. There's also the, 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 the hardcover edition, which is about $16. Bucks. Now, I have a phone, so I, as you can see, I have... FNAF on there, it's upside down. I have Five Nights at Freddy's on my phone, um, but I'm not much of, of a Five Nights at Freddy's or book reader. I'm more of a gamer. That's why that's why I have the games and, and stuff. I don't have them just on my computer, but as you can see, uh, I also have them on my phone. So that, that's, that's really cool um, now that I'm going to become a reader again, because <laughs> now FNAF is on the book. So I'm not much of a reader, so I'm still curious to know if you guys would like to see it on here. Now there's something interesting though, because if I type in Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes, and I, go, I, I copy that, let me, let me just copy and then paste somewhere, where's the search? Uh, don't know where the search is, but I'm going to type it in on Google. And, uh, let's see, uh, I don't see it on Amazon, uh, there we go, there we go, I see it now. <laughs> uh, but the, the paperback, the hardcover version, is about $18, it's about $18, so you're gonna either get it on hardcover, which is, or paperback, I should say, which is $17 or $18, you know, in count tax, um, or you can get it for $3, the cheaper way, which is what I'm gonna probably be getting, on, um, on, on Amazon Kindle Edition, so we can get it that way. But let's see, let's read it here. Um, let's read here. I'm, pro I'm gonna probably get a paperback though, so just putting it out there. Um, interesting to note too, I swear I saw somewhere on here that said that this book has about 400 pages, yet on here it's saying it's about like 278. Hmm. Any anyways, I'm not gonna read too much into that, but let's see. So based on the best selling horror video game series, Five Nights at Freddy's follows a young woman named Sh Charlotte who reunites with her childhood friends on an anniversary of the tragedy that ripped their own town apart. It's been exactly 10 years since the murders at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and then Charlotte, who, gave, who goes by the name Charlie, has spent the last 10 years trying to forget. Her father owned Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and has built four adult-sized animatronic animals. After meeting up with her friends, curiosity leads them back to the old pizza place, and they find it hidden, but still standing. They discover a way inside, but things are not as they used to be. The four mascots that are delighted to entertain them have now changed. The animatronic animals have a dark secret and a murderous agenda. So right there, we already got that hook, that hook that's right there. I, I don't know much about, you know, um... Uh, you know, read it in books, but there's always one thing you want to know when you make a book. Have that hook that makes you excited for it. And right there is Scott um, and and the person they worked with here, which is uh, Kira Breed Risley. Risley, I'm not sure. Uh, have gotten that hook right there. So in this one, we're uh, we're a girl named Charlotte. We're we're a girl named Charlotte. All right. So we're a girl named Charlotte, and we're in the Freddy Fazbear Pizza's ten years after the tragedy. Which is either the bite of 87 or the murder. I'm gonna go ahead with the fact that it's a murder. I'm gonna take the assumption with that. I'm gonna stick with the assumption that it's the murder and not the uh, bite of 87. But damn, that really uh, intrigues me. So Charlotte and her friends. So I'm gonna have to see what that's all about. So I'm definitely gonna be reading this. I'm gonna definitely get it. Uh, I know Scott sent Daco and Raz. An early version. Thanks, Scott, by the way, for not sending me one. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. He, he, he's a kind guy, anyways. 
Um, but no, but for real though, uh, as you guys can see, that's that. Um, and I was in school. I was in school anyway, so it, it didn't even matter. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, uh, Five Minutes Freddy's The Silver Eyes. Uh, it's both on Amazon. So buy is a paperback, which I'm going to be buying that. And the Kindle version, since I have a phone, I have a Kindle, I have, I have everything. Oh, God, I hit my phone against the wall. Okay, I gotta put my phone back now. Oh, I took some, I took paint off. Oh. Oh, man, okay, I didn't know I hit it that hard. But, yeah, as you guys can see, uh, Five Minutes of Freddy's, The Silver Eyes is now out. It came out just today. And, actually, uh, I think if I go on Steam, so I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go on Steam and check out Scott's history, because I think... I think I, I I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I think Scott said something about how it accidentally was posted. Uh, if I can read here, uh, okay, here, let's read here. He said it right here. So he says here, uh, this is uh what Sharby Candy seventy two said, shareable candy. Uh, Scott called them plus release days equal impossible. That's all I wanted to say. And then Scott replied back with, and I'm gonna highlight it for you guys. Uh, well, this time it wasn't entirely my fault. Amazon Amazon has somewhat of a messy release date system. All you can do is click publish and which will go live in three to five days, says the website. So based on that, I published it today. Well, so much for three to five days, it went up live immediately, winky face. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, Scott did post something about that. He also did post something else here, which I'm gonna read. Uh, this is how bad you are at the, okay, let's see. Let's, uh, let me read this. Um, so, someone said to him, This is how bad you are at this. Sometimes you even release things on early on accident. I joke, please forgive. And then uh, he says, It's true. Alright, so yeah, he did confirm on Steam that it was in fact an accident. And it wasn't in fact, you know, he just decided to release it differently. But uh, yeah, really excited. Um, we're Oh, okay. So we have... Um, okay, so we also have this. Which is like a preview i guess to it um so let's see we're gonna look at the preview so first thing first we have the sexy cover which as you can see it has uh bonnie which reminds me of nightmare bonnie i don't know why chica which reminds me of fnaf1 chica obviously and foxy which reminds me of fnaf1 foxy but he's like faded which is weird uh and then there's scott uh you know and kira breed Wrightsley, which i'm gonna probably look into her other books I'm not sure if she has made other books before, but Scott said he worked with a professional writer, so I'm assuming they have, um, being Kira. <laughs> okay, so chapter one. Oh, boy. This is going to be a lot to read, so I don't think I'm going to read it all on video. But I'm going to read some of it to you guys. So we're going to read we're gonna read this part right here, This first, the first paragraph. All right? <clears throat> chapter one. Oh, Okay, okay. So I'm reading here, and it, it said something about. Okay, I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even read yet, but I, I just glanced, and it said something about Utah. So those FNAF take place in Utah? Okay, that would be pretty cool to find out. All right, uh, let's let's read now. Let's actually read. Okay, uh, he sees me. Charlie dropped to her hands and knees. She was wedged behind the row of arcade games, cramped behind the crawl space between the consoles and the wall, tangled electronical cords and useless plugs strewn beneath her. She was con concerned. The only way out past the thing, and she wasn't, uh, the only way past the thing, and she wasn't fast enough to make it. She can see him standing back, stalking back and forth, catching flickers and movement as he passed before the gaps between the games. There was scarcely enough room to move. But she tried to crawl backwards, her foot caught on the cord, and she stopped, contouring herself to carefully dislodge it. She t heard the clash of metal, I'm bad at reading by the way guys, clash on the metal, on metal, and furthest console rocked back against the wall. He hit it again, shattered into the display, then attacked the next, crushing against them almost rhymatically, tearing through the machinery, coming closer. I have to get out! I have to! The panicked thought was no help. There was no way out. Her arm ached, and she wanted to sob aloud. Blood was soaking through the tattered bandage, and it seemed as though she could feel it draining out of her. Uh, uh, the console, a few feet away, crashed against the wall, and Charlie finished. He was getting closer. She can feel. She can hear the grinding of gears and clicking and servos. Every, ever louder. Eyes closed. She can still see the way he looked at her. She matted fur and exposed metal beneath synthetic flesh. Suddenly, the consoles in front of her 
was wrenched away and toppled over, thrown down like a toy. The power cords beneath her hands and knees were yanked away, and Charlie slipped and stumbled almost fallen. She caught herself and looked up. It's time to see... It's ti- just in time to see a downward swing of a hook. Oh, so it was Foxy! Alright, so Foxy... Okay, so she was getting attacked by Foxy. Alright, so... Oh, man... Oh, man. So, welcome to Hurricane Utah. So, FNAF takes place in Hurricane Utah. Oh, my God. Okay, so, is that, like, is that a, is there an actual town in, 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 in Utah called Hurricane? But, nevertheless, this game, the game, the FNAF series takes place in Utah. Or, at least, FNAF 1 and 2, I would imagine, take place in Utah. So, FNAF 1 and 2 are confirmed to be in Utah. That's kind of cool. All right, well, I, that's all I'm going to read because, like I said, I'm not sure how much I'm even allowed to read. I know I can read the first section to you guys, like this part, and then, the, you know, the whole chapter one. But I'm not sure if I can actually read the book because I'm, I'm, I think that's, you know, that would go against copyright. So I'm not going to read that, but I will read this if you guys want me to read chapter one to you guys in another video. Make sure you guys slap the like button down below. And, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm Zombers SMT, and I'll see you next time. Have a amazing day. Peace out. Have a good one. Stay awesome, guys.